Are we alone in the universe? Where do we actually come from? Where do we go? These are some of the big questions the James Webb Space Telescope hopes to answer when it launches on Christmas Day. Here to tell us more about the launch of this powerful telescope is CTV science and technology specialist Dan Riskin. Good morning to you. Good morning. What a day. Yeah, what a day. Those are big questions. My goodness. So the concept of this mission was developed back in, what, 1989? In the early 2000s, the telescope was supposed to be launched. So what's been going on? Why all the delays? Yeah, it's, it was supposed to cost half a billion dollars. Well, $10 billion later, wow. they think it's ready to go on Christmas Day. Uh, there have been a lot of delays because, frankly, it's a really complicated thing. I mean, when they built the Hubble Space Telescope, they built it so it could kind of fit in the cargo bay of a space shuttle, go up there and be kind of put into orbit 500 kilometers above the Earth. This is way bigger, and it's so much bigger that it has to go up on a rocket and then unfurl when it gets to space. So it's not just to build a space telescope. It's to build a space telescope that can unfold into position. And it's got a lot of parts. Um, it's got 18 mirrors. It's got this great big sun shield. And all of that has to deploy properly. And then it's not going 500 kilometers up. It's going 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth to its final sitting spot where it's going to do its work. And so you can't send somebody up there to fix it if it doesn't work the way they had to with Hubble when its, its lens was off by a little bit. They sent a mission to fix it. You're not going to be able to do that with this one. So they have to get it right. All right. You mentioned Hubble. So what makes this so different from the Hubble telescope? There are a few things. I mean, for one, it's a lot bigger, right? So it's got, it, because it unfurls, it's got a larger mirror diameter. That's going to let it see more of space. So that's that's a big thing, and that's going to allow it to see farther away. The bigger the telescope, the better the telescope in general. But the other thing is that it, because it is looking at old space, it's looking really far away. And when you look far away, you look at things where the light left that thing a long time ago, because it takes time for the light to get to you. And so this telescope is functionally going to be looking at the beginnings of our universe. Wow. And so all of those old things tend to be visible in the infrared. So whereas Hubble was looking at the same wavelengths that our eyeballs work at, this telescope is mostly looking in the infrared. And so that made, that's a big difference. And that's one of the reasons it has to be so far away from the Earth and have this big sun shield is that the, the Earth gives off infrared radiation all the time, as does the sun. And it has to be away from those things and blocked from those things so that it can see what's happening very dimly far, far away in the infrared. And what is the primary mission here? Well, the primary mission is to look back really, really far in time. And so, I mean, the, the whole universe is 13.8 billion years old. This is going to look back all the way to about 0 0.3 billion years of, from the beginning of the universe. So we're talking about so far back that the Big Bang has happened and there's gas and stuff. But things haven't coalesced into galaxies and stars yet. And so we're going to see the first stars turning on. That's how far back we're going. Not only that, it's going to have the ability to look at exoplanets and try to see their atmosphere. It's going to have the ability to see faraway asteroids. It's just going to give us this really powerful tool. And one of the beauties of something this fundamental to mm -hmm. science, just putting a new instrument up there, is... We don't know. I mean, maybe we'll ah. find that spaceship going by and all the aliens waving out the window. <laughs> I, I would love that. And but, when are we expecting, uh, we don't know like, until we send it up. So when are we expecting information? Well, so it launches, and then it's got to do this unfolding thing, and it takes about a month to get to its resting position about 1.5 million kilometers away. So the launch is scheduled for about 7 in the morning Eastern on Christmas Day. What could be more exciting? It's going to be <laughs> literally better than the presents people get on Christmas Day. It's going to launch pray that launch works out. Then once it gets up, it's got to deploy its solar panels, and then the other parts start unfolding, like that big mirror uh, with its 18 hexagonal components, like that big sun shield. And all of that is very slowly deploying while it gets out there. So we won't really know if things are all working until about a month in, although there's always the chance that we'll know very soon that things are not working. Uh, this is like, everybody's so stressed. I can't This imagine. has to work because there's no plan B. There's no plan B. How excited are you? Personally. I'm losing my mind. Yeah, I, can, I, 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 I haven't been this excited for Christmas since I was a little kid. I'm oh, telling you. That's this so is great. great. I know. What a present on Christmas morning. Dan Riskin, uh, thanks so much. This is absolutely fascinating. We will be watching with bated breath. Thank you so much. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.